I'll get right to the point. This is how you make a stair skirting. You retrofit it. Just make little pieces like this and you just hot glue them together in that shape, just right along the edge. I like to put little pieces across the top like that just to give it extra strength. Um, just so when I pull it away, it doesn't lose its form by bending or whatever. Older homes, your stair treads are sometimes not overhanging very much. Sometimes they overhang a lot like this. And so I just cut back with a Sawzall at the width of the stair skirt and then knocked it out with a hammer and a chisel. Um, just wanna, I keep mine a quarter inch back so I have a spot to caulk. You could make it perfectly flat with the end. I don't want to, but this gives you the shape up here. This one is perfectly flat with the top because the handrail will be right there and it will sit right on there. It'll overhang a little. On this side, I hovered it a half inch because I hovered my baseboards a half inch. And if I don't do that, then there will be a half inch gap between the top of my stair skirt right here and where my baseboard comes out and sits over the top. So that's where the top of the stair, the stair skirt will be on this side so my baseboards can sit on it. Now you just lay it out on your stair skirt and then you trace the bottom part because this is your, your run and your rise. Um, I wish I would have put a piece there because there's a little bit of wiggle right here when I move that. Um, this helps hold the shape better. I should have made that top piece all the way, but just make sure that's lined up right there. And if there's any that hover just a little bit, that's fine because you are matching the shape of the stairs. You're not trying to make a straight line. That's why you do this to make sure it fits. It looks like it's pretty good. And then right here, just remember that there's my rise, there's my run, and I'll go from here to there. You know, that's that must have not been touching. And then go up that way, and you just leave the top, obviously. And that's how you retrofit a stair skirting to an old set of stairs.